Welcome back to the channel guys, today we're going to be taking a look at what I consider to be the best class items in Destiny 1, meaning cloaks, marks, and bonds. And this video is going to be very similar to my previous video I've done where we looked at the best armor sets from Destiny 1, so be sure to check that one out after watching this one. And also leave your favorite class items from Destiny 1 in the comments section because I know that my list won't be exactly the same as some of you. But without further ado, let's get into the top 5 class items for each class, starting first with the Hunters. At number 5 we have the Cloak of the Iron Sworn. A very simplistic design no doubt, but easily one of my favorites. It's a cloak that tells a story in its design. It's ripped up and shredded, covered in blood near the bottom, with tattered holes in the hood. Its caption reads, Those who find victory in the Crucible will win salvation for our city. This cloak can be obtained pretty much anywhere in the game, including engrams, and again, while a very simple design, it's extremely effective at having a lot of character, and goes well with most armor sets. At number 4 we have the Cloak of Tanix. Obtained as strike specific loot from the Shadow Thief strike, the Cloak of Tanix is just that. Tanix's Cloak, which looks so badass. A somewhat viking inspired design with the fur collar, and then of course represents none of the fallen houses with its design because as we know, Tanix has no house. Instead it has its own unique design. One of my favorite things about this cloak is how it doesn't have a hood, which allows you to show off your helmet in all its glory, which is great for specific helmets. And this cloak might have the highest requests out of any cloak from Destiny 1 to return to Destiny 2, and understandably, that makes sense. Number 3, the Shattered Vault Cloak. The machines are not invincible. The famous Vault of Glass cloak is a long, elegant, and classic royal looking cloak, and just the sleekness of its design makes it work with almost any armor set, thanks to its ability to take shaders really well. The year 3 version of the cloak also brought along ornaments for it, which changed its design entirely, but the result is still pretty good. At number 2 we have the Lion's Vigil cloak from the year 3 Trials of Osiris. This cloak has been glued to my hunter since I first obtained it. The Trials of Osiris Egyptian armor design from Destiny 1 never disappointed, and I think my favorite example of it is with the Lion's Vigil. I really loved all the references Destiny 1 made to these Egyptian gods and goddesses like Bastet, and I think it goes without much convincing to say that this is an incredible design that almost made it to my number one spot if it weren't for how perfect the next one is. Number 1, Strength of the Pack. A pattern worn by Anna Bray during the fateful battle of Twilight Gap. Of course, now she reps a much shittier version of this cloak, but her original cloak in Destiny 1 is unrivaled, in my opinion. It doesn't change colors with shaders, only brightening a bit with specific ones, so it does kind of pigeonhole you into something like Chatter White or similar shaders to best rep it, but goddamn is it sexy. It perfectly encapsulates the design of a hunter leader. And like the Shattered Vault cloak, it's just sleek and elegant. Easily my number one favorite cloak in Destiny 1, but again, leave your favorite hunter cloaks in the comments section. Titans are up next, and at number 5 we have Mark of the Exile. I wasn't always the biggest fan of this mark, but it's grown on me. It's the only mark that has this kind of unique, sharp bath towel design to it, and it matches really well with the Year 1 Trials gear, but not much else if we're being honest, which is why it's at my number 5. At number 4 we have Mark of the Pit. The Crotozend raid mark that fits the design of any titan that reps the more hive aesthetic like the Crotozend, King's Fall, or certain strike specific loot gear. The hive bone belt paired with the feather like design just works for me. It does also have an ornament which of course will match great with a full set of Crotozend gear, but to be honest, I just like the regular one a bit more. And I just love the flavor text. Torn from a vanquished wizard, it flutters in the windless air. At number 3, Light of the Great Prism. This vault of glass mark that's like a hologram simulation thing you wear around your waist. It doesn't provide a whole lot of variation as it only goes well with some of the more Vex themed armor, because of obvious reasons, but I love it regardless. The year 3 ornament changes up its design a whole lot as well, and makes it look like you're hanging quite a large package below the belt, so I guess that's nice if you're into that sort of thing. And like Mark of the Pit, it also has a really good flavor text from the famous striker titan Wei Ning. When the long dark closes around us, we will be the last light. Number 2, the Iron Saga Mark. A year 3 Iron Banner drop that just looks good. A very medieval design with the chainmail and the straps, and paired with the Iron Wolf sigil just makes it look great. 
It's got a bit of the tattered and worn out look to it as well, which is a huge plus for me. I just love any design where things look worn out, like they've been through hell and battle. It just completely sells the design for me. And number one is easily Mark of the Sunforged. Exclusive to the Taken King Collector's Edition, this mark is by far my favorite. It straps a goddamn hammer to your waist. What more do you need? This was a must wear when Taken King dropped as well because it increased the rate you leveled up subclass upgrades, as well as a 10% XP gain. It's a fairly simple design, but one that does the Titan class a lot of justice, with every bit of the design in its art. And the flavor text is one of my favorites in the entire game, telling a story of what I interpreted to be a reference to one of the last Sunbreakers before they perished. Of all the lights, we burned the brightest. Just an absolutely perfect Titan mark. And finally, it's time for the Warlock Bonds. Number 5, Wolfswood Bond. A year 2 Iron Banner Bond that shows off the Wolf Sigil as if it's a green flame, which also makes it look like it's running through the wind. Just a great overall design that matches, of course, the Iron Banner aesthetic, but most armor on the Warlock in general. Number 4 is the Bone Circlet. The Crota's End aesthetic is really one of my favorites, especially when it comes to the armor, so it's not a secret that another Crota's End class item made the list. Just that glowing green design between the bones looks so badass, and of course the ornament makes it even more extravagant. But being totally honest, I think I do prefer just the regular Bone Circlet, unless I'm repping that full set of Crota's End gear with the ornaments. At number 3 we have Spirit of the Vulture. Purchased from the speaker, this bond is just simple. A holographic vulture that has a pretty glow effect. That's it. It's simple. It's uncomplicated. But it just speaks Warlock. It pairs great with white shaders, and just an all-around easy choice to have on the list. At number 2, the Devil's Bond. Purchased from Varix at the Reef, the Devil's Bond of course represents the House of Devils faction of the Fallen. Varix sold Fallen house-themed class items to every single class, and they do look good on other characters as well, no doubt, but this Devil's Bond is one of my favorites. Just like the Spirit of the Vulture, it's very simple, just glowing a particular color. But I don't know why, it just looks so perfect. And I probably wear this one the most out of any of these for my Warlock. And finally at number one, Felwinter's Iron Bond. During year one, I absolutely loved the Iron Banner look for my Warlock, and Felwinter's Iron Bond was the cherry on top that completed the ensemble. This one is particularly my favorite because it has much more detail than the previous ones on the list. It has of course the typical hologram style Iron Banner symbol emitting from it, with the flames that surround it, and that's fantastic. But the bond itself, wrapped around the bicep, has great Iron Banner tree designs engraved in it that sell the whole thing for me. Just a perfect bond design, and easily my favorite in the game. And that's it for my top 5 favorite class items across all the classes in Destiny 1. Let me know your favorites in the comment section down below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.